sorry, Jeff Dirk with We Are Changed Kinetic out here at University of Hartford. We just caught up with an amazing photographer, well, walking out the door a little bit, <laughs> who just did an amazing presentation, Trevor Paglin. Um, one of the amazing things I saw about your photos was on the intercept.org mm -hmm. of secret different agencies, the NSA, stuff like that. Tell us, first of all, how you got access to do that. <laughs> so the project that you're talking about is a um, series of overhead images um, shot from a helicopter of, of some of the American intelligence agencies, the NSA, the National Security Agency, the NRO, the National Reconnaissance Office, and the NGA, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. And the reason, um, so those are a series of images that I, that, I, that I made, and then I made them public domain. So in other words, I renounced my copyright. Anybody can download high resolution version of those images and use them for whatever you want. I don't yep. care. You can say I took them, you don't have to. You can say you took them, I don't care. The reason I did that is because there was a lot of um, stories and, and you know a lot of these agencies have been sort of in the news a lot. There's a conversation happening about what the role of these agencies is in the society and what, they, what we want them to be doing or what we might not want them to be doing. And I was really frustrated by the fact that, that well, honestly, there weren't a lot of images of them. And so I had the idea of doing this project. And um, so uh, all of the agencies are in airspace in the Washington, D.C. area that's restricted airspace. And so we did have to get permission from the various intelligence agencies to to do the flights and uh, and, and it was it was and, and uh, to their credit they were all very good about it the NSA uh, NGA uh, NRO all all gave us permission and um, uh, the CIA which is uh, the other one I wanted to photograph did not give us permission they were in and that was a little bit frustrating yeah. Uh, but but yeah the, the agencies were actually quite good about it I think it was a good point you touched on in the talk today about secrecy and how you could put names behind it. And, and I really appreciate your investigative journalism, the way you, you know, basically put names on paper, like the information. Tell us how you started researching and getting involved with that. Any topics particular that, you know, you mentioned you mapped out the routes of CIA flights to secret prisons. Tell us how you really got started passionate about that research. Um, I guess I started becoming interested in secrecy, you know, really with the advent of what, you know, we sometimes call this war on, war on terror, this way in, in which the country has for quite a while now been involved in a very kind of amorphous, uh, deterritorialized uh, warfare, which has really affected um, all aspects of our society, culturally, legally, economically, and this transformation um, of American society and the increased role of secret parts of the state is something that, that uh, to me is, just, is interesting and, and I think worth really thinking long and hard about what its implications are. One last quick thing for people to know, to follow more of your work, any future photographs, anything like that, or recent current stuff you just released uh, for anybody to check out? Yeah, sure. I mean, well, the, the, the intercepts images that you, that you mentioned came out, you know, last week or two weeks ago, so that's pretty new. And there are a number of other projects that, uh, if you, you follow me, the, the, they'll be coming out before too long. The war on whistleblowers is a great example uh, because if you are somebody who discloses uh, secret classified information that undermines the agenda of the United States government or exposes criminality or embarrasses political officials, you are prosecuted to extreme degrees. Yeah, without citizen journalism, we will not be able to take back the media. We have to make the corporate media irrelevant and take things in our own hands. And I applaud your guys' efforts and I applaud everyone who's doing similar things because this is really the revolution right here.